Hi there, my name is Kelsey and today I'm going to be talking to you about ways to help heartburn. So some ways that we can manage reflux with lifestyle changes. Let's get started. So today we're going to start with a brief lesson in anatomy just to get our bearings. Then we'll talk about three ways that you can prevent heartburn. We'll focus a little bit more on lifestyle modifications and diet and then how to manage symptoms and then we'll end with some key takeaways. So first, a little bit anatomy. So the picture on the left shows the GI tract from start to finish. Now the area that we focus on regarding heartburn is the esophagus and the stomach. So let's take a look at the picture on the right. So the area where the esophagus and the stomach connect, there is a sphincter there. And when we don't have heartburn, that sphincter is closed after we've you know, swallowed our food and it maintains good pressure, it keeps food flowing in the direction that it should and keeps contents of the stomach from flowing back up into the esophagus. Well, when we have heartburn or reflux, that sphincter has decreased in pressure and that allows it to open more easily and that causes stomach acid to flow back up into the esophagus and that causes that classic burning sensation that we call heartburn. All right, let's talk about three areas of prevention. So first, we can look at lifestyle modifications. So stress management, sleeping habits, and smoking all can influence heartburn. Next, we can focus more closely on diet. So what when and how much you eat can influence heartburn. And then lastly, there are certain medications that you can take to reduce the production of stomach acid. All right, let's focus more on lifestyle modifications. So first, it is very important to avoid smoking. That sphincter between the esophagus and the stomach, well, when we smoke, that decreases the pressure of the sphincter, allowing backflow up into the esophagus to occur more easily. Next, there are two habits that are related to sleep. First, it is helpful to elevate your head up when sleeping because this makes the angle of the esophagus above the stomach much higher and helps prevent stomach acid from traveling back up. Uh, second, we can avoid eating too close to bedtime. This allows your body adequate time to digest food before you lay down and sleep. And then lastly, managing stress. This is really important because stress can actually increase the amount of stomach acid that your body produces. All right, let's talk a little bit more about diet. So as I said, what, when, and how much you eat really can impact heartburn. So again, eating too close to bedtime can cause heartburn as well as overeating or over drinking too much. Second, let's talk about trigger foods. Now there are two ways that food influences heartburn. First, there are foods that actually decrease that pressure of the sphincter between the esophagus and the stomach. So foods like alcohol, coffee or caffeine, peppermint, and foods that are really high in fat will decrease that sphincter pressure and allow stomach acid to travel back up into the esophagus a lot more easily. Secondly, there are foods that don't necessarily cause heartburn in the first place, but they can trigger pain and irritation if you already have heartburn. So uh, if you've had heartburn in the past and you have damaged the lining of your esophagus, eating spicy, acidic, overly seasoned or salty foods can trigger pain and irritation, but they don't necessarily lower that pressure of the sphincter. All right, so what can we do once we're already experiencing symptoms? First, it is important to eat plenty of fiber. Soluble fiber specifically helps to soak up liquid. And so when it gets into our stomach, it can soak up uh, stomach acid and help prevent it from backflowing up into the esophagus. Next, there are some home remedies that may help. Uh, drinking ginger tea or chewing fennel seeds may help. And while there's not a lot of data to support this, uh, it's worth a shot giving it a try to see if it works for you. Uh, you can also loosen up your clothing and stand upright and that can also help relieve symptoms. And then lastly, there are over-the-counter medications like antacids or Tums that can help to provide quick relief. All right, let's end with some key takeaways. So the key for managing heartburn is prevention. 
Adopting healthy habits to prevent heartburn from occurring in the first place is really important, as well as learning what your trigger foods are to prevent exacerbation of symptoms. Next, aim to consume 40 grams of fiber per day. Remember that soluble fiber helps to soak up liquid and so it can help to absorb stomach acid. Plus, fiber is really great for managing other chronic diseases, so it's a win-win. And lastly, look at your daily habits. Analyzing when and how much you eat can be really important and taking action to practice lifestyle modifications such as avoiding smoking or managing stress can be really helpful in preventing heartburn from occurring. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching.